Hello everybody and welcome on board this lovely Sea Lion F37 for a look around her cockpit and interior to give you an idea of her layout and what goes with her and what a delightful place she is to be. Now as you can see I'm standing in the cockpit I'm looking towards the starboard side. If I just come over to the port side here you can see that we've got uh, the companionway through there so we've got a nice swing door here which when closed should keep the pets and the children in hopefully and as you can see we've got a, a, a an unzipped section here in fact we've got several unzipped sections so you can configure this as you would like so we've got a lovely great big cockpit tent here lovely big windows all looks in fine fettle and uh, generally keeping the rain of the day all out and meaning that this is a really useful compartment whether it's cold outside whether it's raining outside or the opposite whether it's uh, really hot outside and you just want to keep out of the sun very nice indeed and feels really really pleasant lots of light and of course you can see out of the stern as well for that all important what's keeping at sea. Very nice indeed. So we mentioned the uh, the companion way here. We've got a gas locker here, which forms a step to the side deck as well. And as you're approaching the side deck here, you can see we've got a, a nice grab rail there, which will also help you uh, up the companion way to the fly bridge. So you can see we've got a very nice teak inlaid steps up there as we have down here in the cockpit as well. All looking very, very nice and no real evidence of wear whatsoever. The seating comes up in the form of a bench seating along the stern of the cockpit and it just uh, comes around to the starboard side there a little bit. We have provision underneath here for stowage for a nice big life raft. We have a nice big cockpit locker under here, a step up on the starboard side there to the starboard side deck and uh, more than anything just lots and lots of room in here. If we just look uh, forward slightly we can see we've got the companionway door there through to the interior. Lovely curved French windows open really nice and easily with one hand which you'll see in a moment and if we just look up we can see the very sea line esque cupboard up there or locker which just drops down on a couple of latches safely and inside there you'll find a cockpit table and do notice the uh, nice down lighters as well so we can sit out here in the evening. Just looking down at the deck sorry about all the footprints it is a bit wet outside but if I just uh, lift this uh, lid up nice and easily with one hand there we go it's on a gas strut we can see that we've got a lovely great big uh, cockpit locker in here all sorts of bits and pieces down here lots of electricity lots of exhaust plenums uh, steering gear accessory there etc but more than anything you've got lots of room to store your weekend gear etc etc you can see we've got uh, flybridge cushions in here boy uh, fenders etc all stowed away so loads and loads of room down there for everybody to enjoy their stay without compromise very nice indeed so that just folds away there we go so yes a very nice cockpit feels great but you'll probably feel greater when we go inside the interior because it really is a place to be now there we go very nicely opened so there's the uh, very slight step over the threshold there onto this uh, little step here which contains the uh, the fuel valves fuel return valves and the fuel configuration valves and once you're in you can see well just judge for yourself what a delightful interior this is this boat apparently has hardly been used we have hardly any engine hours and that goes to show in the uh, the, the, the the lack of wear and tear in the carpet and the upholstery just looks absolutely fabulous we've got very contemporary colors so it's very light and bright and airy in here you can see we've got windows all over the place letting light flood in but also great for watch keeping at sea we have got the blinds on the windscreen there so you can't quite see through those and they are obstructing a bit of the light coming in obviously but we've just left them on because it's such a rainy day but you can see just what a very very pleasant and luxurious feeling interior this is if we just start down at the bottom we can see that we've got several plates down here these lift in various configurations or all lift away to allow access access to the the volvo engines just beneath there uh, so really really nice and easy access the table moves out of the way and you can lift these up one at a time or more more than one at a time for the engineers to do their stuff so hopefully they will thank you for that and then starting on the starboard side if i just move over here you can see we've got a lovely u-shaped seating we've got a lovely table there which doesn't look like it has any scratches whatsoever which is fantastic i believe there's storage beneath the cushions too uh, outboard we can see we've got a lovely big window here all the windows have blinds or curtains these have blinds these have curtains here and the curtains carry on throughout the boat so lots of privacy curtains also for the french windows at the back as well so you can really be on your own if you want to you'll notice around here we've got a, a 240 volt sockets throughout the uh, boat as well and we have a stereo nestled there in this starboard forward corner really rather lovely and you can just see inset into the headlining there we got all the down lighters very good indeed now if i just turn around and move 
forward slightly, we can focus on the port aft corner. You can see we've got a nice sideboard unit here, big shelved cupboard in here. We've got the electric isolator in here, which isolates with the key, which is great. More, uh, more 240 volt sockets. We've got, uh, uh, looks like a, an electric TV aerial booster there, a clock and barometer, heating controls and various safety uh, bits and pieces there too. So all really nice. And it does smell great in here. I don't really see any, any evidence of use whatsoever she seems like a really really lovely boat there we go and that's the view looking forwards so before we venture down those stairs let's look at the area that you might be steering from so this is the helm seat here and as you can see again lovely uh really really nice and soft upholstery there somewhere nice to sit there's room here for two people to sit and if we just take a look at what we're going to be using here you can see on the left hand side side here we've got the vhf radio <laughs> buried underneath here uh looks like we've got the autopilot chart plotter under here we can see that we've got the speed and trip etc etc on the right hand side under here if i can do it one-handed let's have a go you can see underneath here we've got the depth gauge etc let's put that back right and then outboard of that we've got the two throttles we've got the engine start stops nice wheel steering here as you can see uh, we've got the volvo ebc system here as well and uh, of course you can see we've got the the trim tabs or the trim control there and the rudder angle indicator there midships just aft of the compass and the bow thruster control too very nice indeed the um the console here looks really nice and uncluttered. I really like it, actually. It's still got a great view. Now, if you just look around here from this aspect, you can see you've got a great view almost everywhere on this boat. So when we're coming alongside, when we're watch keeping us sea at high speed, we've got ample visibility, which is great. Uh, looking forward again, you can see we have a small uh, chart table here or navigation table or somewhere to put your pilotage plans, etc. A cup holder, the all-important cup holder. And then here we have the port engine instrumentation. So we've got the taco, we've got coolant temperature, uh, we've got uh, fuel gauge, we've got battery voltage, and uh, looks like oil pressure there as well, as we should have. Mirrored on the starboard side there, very nice indeed. And I think here we've got room if we wanted to install anything new. Uh, people are starting to, re uh, to revert to these lovely, great big touchscreen, flat screen things. So plenty of room for all that kind of stuff up here, should you desire. Now up here, we can see we've got the electrics panel. So that's all very, very nicely labeled and very well ordered. I do like that. Um, that's, that that's touching one of my isms. Um, and we can see straight away what's turned on, what's turned off, etc where to turn it off and on it. It's all reachable from the helm or just from the side here if we're just uh, climbing up here. So all really rather good. But what a lovely banister this is to help you up. So down there we can see the galley. So let's have a little look down there. So it's uh, one step, two step down to the saloon level. And uh, we'll just look forward and you can see we've got a couple of steps, one, two, three steps down into the galley. And you can see what a place it is. Very, um, very well laid out a nice big thoroughfare here access to i think the glorifies under there we've got the bilge and i think possibly the fresh water pump and a few other bits and pieces down there just to keep the boat going we have access to the heads and the forward cabin which we'll see in a moment and the galley itself if i just drop down a little bit further and go forwards for a different view you can see we've got a really lovely cooker i'll just uh, open that up to show you how lovely and clean it is so that should please everybody a uh, cutlery drawer here a nice big double sink unit here this is corian surface i think it's really lovely and heavy and solid and uh, you can see under underneath here we've got uh, a three burner cooker there so we do have gas on board as i showed you the gas locker underneath we have more storage for uh, various bits and pieces nice drawers uh, let's have a look shall we while we've got your nice deep drawer and another fridge there absolutely lovely and let's see if this one opens it does another deep drawer there too so lots of room for cooking we've got sockets all over the place so we can uh, we can put our air fryer here if we want to just make sure it's secure for sea etc and more cupboards along the back there so uh i'm actually really ample for a boat like this and uh, should keep you going for a while uh just looking above here we've got an opening window as well so that's good for the galley area all seems to be designed in very very nicely and i've just spotted this cupboard as well let's see what we've got another little cupboard there too all cupboards everywhere where they could think of cramming them basically very nice so uh, let's go uh, carry on along the port side for a change and we'll just look in the uh, the uh, the day head so here we go this is the toilet um which is actually a jill and a, a jack and jill affair from the forward cabin so if i just i can't reach around but uh, if we just open that door from there that goes through to the forward cabin so the occupants of that cabin can use this head without the rest of the boat knowing and vice versa so other people can, can get in there without disturbing the occupants 
occupants of the fore cabin. But we have um, uh, a looks like an electric toilet in here, which is lovely. So if you're sitting there, you'll be facing to the starboard aft part of the boat. All very nice and easy to clean. We have a cupboard underneath the sink. Nice round sink there. We have a shower attachment there. So if you want to spray yourself down, looks like you can. Cupboards above for your uh, your crew bags, for your toothpaste, etc. And an opening window that's been frosted out for obvious reasons. So really, really nice compartment. And I think, uh, yes, you can have a shower in here as well. So that will all go down the plug hole. We've got a curtain here, which runs all the way around that rail. So you can keep all the water in here very nice and easily. How cool is that? So let's close the door on that. And before we go forward, I'll just take you thwart ships over to the other side and look inside the aft cabin. Now, there we go. How is that? You could spend plenty of time in there. Obviously, the head height here or the headlining here is slightly compromised because above here you have the helm seats behind the uh, the moulding, but you've got a lovely wide bed, lovely long bed. This section lifts out to give you two single beds if you like. A big storage binnacle under the port star, sorry, the uh, port side, big storage binnacle under the starboard side and an opening window as well to give yourself a little bit of fresh air nice big locker there to uh, keep your uh the, the the items of clothing that you would like to keep uh, to keep hanging i guess and if we just open this door here we come into the shower room so there we go a room wholly dedicated to showering so we've got again jack and jill access through to the forward cabin there where we go in a moment and you can see everything goes down the plug hole there and we've just got this nice wood line compartment we have a proper shower this time with a mixer tap on the bulkhead there nice shower attachment which you don't see on many boats around here so it's lovely big compartment so you can really get in here throw the shower around really have a good old spray get yourself nice and clean and that's where the uh, the moisture will go out through the frosted window very very lovely and uh, very inviting i have to say the whole boat feels very inviting which i absolutely love so let's come out of the uh aft cabin and move into the forward cabin now there we go pièce de résistance of this boat i think we have an island berth so lovely lovely great big bed we have some storage underneath we have access to the bilge down here on the right hand side here we have access into the uh, shower where i just showed you so there's your jack and jill from here nice uh, locker on the port uh, sorry on the starboard side here and then round the corner here you can see we've got another cupboard a fiddle shelf and an opening window there absolutely lovely looking up at the uh, deck head here you can see all the headliner you can see we've got down lighting we've got a nice hatch there with a cover that pulls out to give you uh, darkness if you'd like it and uh, going down again on the port side here another locker looking very similar to the one on the starboard side an opening window and a vanity unit so uh, many people really like the idea of, of coming up to the side of the bed and getting in instead of scrambling over the front or scrambling uh, in and out via over a partner a poor suffering partner so we have got access on the port side here we have got access on the starboard side and we've got a nice uh, cushioned headline uh, headboard there and uh, a big mirror on the back end and you can just see me in there hello everybody so yeah really really lovely compartment plenty of room nice wide bed nice and long too and uh, hardly used I'm led to believe so uh, yeah like most of this boat hardly seems used at all and uh, you just wouldn't uh, believe she was her age at all very nice indeed so that uh, concludes the interior tour of the Sea Lion F37. Thanks for coming along with us. If you go uh, elsewhere in our advert on BoatshedBrighton.com, you'll see lots more videos, photos and virtual reality. And uh, you can really feel like you've been on this boat and enjoy her. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.